Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Deputy Chief Tim Kugel with the Auburn Police Department. Thank you all for joining us here today. Joining me to my right is Colonel William Ross of the Maine State Police. It's been an intense and tragic morning here in Auburn. Incidents like the one we have experienced today are most frightening for our community, especially in the light of the events that took place this past October. I'm proud of our team's response, however, and that of our firefighters, emergency dispatchers, and our public works department. I'm also grateful to our neighboring public safety agencies who provided critical and timely mutual aid to us. The Lewiston Police Department, the Androscoggin County Sheriff's Office, and of course the Maine State Police, as well as Mechanic Falls Police Department. I'll be, I'll be attempting to provide for you a detailed rundown of this incident. Please understand and respect the fact that although this incident is over, the investigation into it is just starting. Many questions will remain unanswered, but in time those questions can and will be answered for you. On June 15th, 2024, at 12.57 a.m., Auburn Communications Center received a 911 call from a female subject living on Russell Ave. She reported that her significant other was in a fight with a male subject trying to break into the residence and that he was armed with a gun. That female significant other is currently unaccounted for. While on the phone with the Auburn Communications Center, shots could be heard fired. Auburn Police Department responded immediately to the area. Auburn Communications Center reported the female subject had fled the residence through a window when she heard the gunshots. At approximately 1.09 a.m., Auburn Police located the female who was hiding further down the road on Russell Ave. They observed the residence was, her residence was now on fire. And, um, was on fire and heard yelling coming from inside of the residence. At 1.10 a.m., the female identified the male subject who had been breaking into her residence as Leon Hinckley. Smoke detectors can be heard going off in the residence at this time and fire can be seen coming from the windows beginning to engulf the building. At 1.15 a.m., Auburn officers report Lee and Hinckley fired shots at them. Androscoggin County deputies were also on scene at this time. At 1.23 a.m., Mr. Hinckley was heard yelling at the officers from inside of the residence. At approximately 1.25 a.m., Auburn police requested the Maine State Police tactical team respond to their location for assistance. At approximately 1.27 a.m., Auburn police reported that Mr. Hinckley was shooting at them for a second time and that now a second building, a residence on Russell Avenue, was now on fire as well. Mr. Hinckley fled the residence, briefly taking shelter in a neighboring garage, also located on Russell Ave. The homeowner alerted law enforcement to this, to this fact. Um, they responded, however, Mr. Hinckley had fled the garage um, making his way to a rooftop, a uh, flat rooftop of a home uh, just down the street. At this time, at, at, when he was doing that, he was brandishing a firearm from the rooftop. This time I'll turn it over to Colonel Ross. Thank you, Chief. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, again, a great collaboration between law enforcement agencies and our other public safety members. Uh, it's important that um, they're recognized for the great work that they did today. Uh, just to add on to what uh, the chief was saying regarding the timeline, uh, at approximately 5.36 this morning, the state police tactical team members uh, located Mr. Hinckley on the rooftop of 33 Russell Avenue with a firearm. Moments after, he was shot and killed by Maine State Police tactical team members. Troopers Scott Duff and Trooper Patrick Hall were involved in the officer-involved shooting. Maine State Police Major Crimes Unit is investigating the underlying criminal matter and criminal conduct, and the Office of the Attorney General will be investigating the police-involved shooting. Both troopers are being placed on administrative leave, as is the standard practice in officer-involved shootings. From a historical perspective, uh, just to let you know who this individual is with Mr. Hinckley. Uh, he was released on bail on June 12th. He had been in custody and on prob uh, for a probation violation involving a 2011 conviction for crimes of domestic violence, elevated aggravated assault, as well as a recent arrest for a crime of domestic violence. Initially, he was held without bail 
on the probation violation. Uh, over the objection of the district attorney's office, the court reduced his bail to $1,500, concurrent with conditions including house arrest at a residence in Lewiston. Um, I'll be happy to talk to you or answer some questions. Again, this is an ongoing investigation. It's also an officer-involved shooting. Uh, we'll defer any of those questions to the Attorney General's office. Uh, again, we are still looking for an individual, um, but uh, right now there's obviously no threat to the public as uh, the suspect has died. Uh, so at this time, uh, I'd open it up to any questions you might have. Uh, any other known injuries involved in the situation? Are the two police officers in okay condition? Uh, the two troopers that were involved in the shooting are. I uh, can't comment any further. Uh, Chief, you may want to comment on your folks. No officers were struck by firearms. However, one officer who was shot at um, attempting to um, move, remove himself in that situation did fall and injured um, his leg. He was taken to a local hospital, treated for minor injuries, and was released. And no one with the Auburn Police Department is in uh, administrative leave? No. Uh, again, folks, uh, there's a lot going on. I think more will be coming out as the weekend unfolds. Uh, certainly, we'll be uh, disseminating information as appropriately to you folks. Uh, thank you for your partnership. And um, uh, when more information comes available, we'll make sure that we're getting it out to you. Thank you. Uh, that's still under investigation now. And uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll have more concise information for you as this unfolds. Thank you.